All right, this story times is a little squeamish for the bug viewers, for the people who freak out about bugs or anything or hate it. Yeah, it's one of those. Hi, my name is Mike Conti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And of course, this is another story time video. All right, this is about the time I got bed bugs in my dorm. Yeah, it was pretty go, pretty gross, pretty nasty. Before I get with the story time, I'm gonna drop the college. It's at Livingstone College. Not bashing it, not, you know, it just ended up happening there. And it's not a regular thing that usually happens on campuses. But here we go. All right, so it was the first week about into Livingstone College, and I'm excited. I'm, I'm on college for the first time. As many of you know, I'm a freshman at Livingstone College right now. And I'm really figuring things out. I'm pretty excited. I'm just, and I'm back in my hometown. Salisbury, North Carolina, 704. I'm just back in my hometown. So I'm pretty just genuinely excited to be back home. So the first week hits and I move in, everything, got my roommate, got my everything set up. You know, just a basic general dorm. And about this week, we are doing freshman power week. So we have each event, each and every night. We're doing stuff every day. All this and that, getting registered having papers signed, blah, blah, doing like stuff to be ready to be freshmen for college. And, um, oh Lord, my afro is a, look at this, look at this, bigness right here. Ugh, it's ridiculous. So at about a first few days in, I'm getting these bites on my arms. I'm getting bites. And as many of you may know, I lived in the DMV for about four years. So a mosquito has never, it's bit me in my lifetime, but it's, hasn't bit me since I lived in the DMV area. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm back in the South, you know, the bugs are just getting acclimated to me, all this and that, you know, like, you know, the general stuff, it didn't pick my mind that bag bugs were biting me. Now, and a few nights in when I was sleeping there, I did wake up a few nights, you know, like, ah, oh, my arms kinda itch, so I put Vaseline on them, not thinking, Anything of it, not thinking like, oh, okay, bed bugs are literally biting my arms to death. Dent, my legs, my arms, my feet, my buttocks, my butt, all this, all this, bed bug city, sit, city, sit. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm pretty pissed off about this story. Mind you, it's the first week. It's the first week, so I should not be experiencing these difficult trying times. I, I'm genuinely confused on why I'm getting bit by bed bugs. Mind you, I did not come to the realization yet in this part of the story, but that's neither here nor there. Let's continue with the story again. So one night I was asleep, I was in my dorm and I was on the bed. And I was on my phone, I was watching YouTube and everything. YouTube, you know, anything, just scrolling and everything, watching my videos. Cause for once the Wi-Fi actually worked in this goddamn campus, cause usually it doesn't work. But that's neither here nor there. Then all of a sudden, I'm on my phone and there's a bug crawling on my covers. Gotcha, Y'all, I have a childhood blanket. I don't play about my childhood blanket. So when I saw that bug in my blanket, I immediately was like, hold up, what's that? Didn't think nothing of it. I'm thinking it's just a regular bug. I killed it, called it a day. Now let's roll around to the next day. Next day, I'm doing freshman power week. I'm with my advisor. I'm with my other 2023 classmates. And you know, we're just having a good time. And y'all, I'm like literally itching so bad like it's getting to the point where it's starting to burn like it was it was really bad it was getting to the point where i couldn't even function so i was like oh man these mosquitoes just bite me whatever you know still not registering still not registering that's bed bugs did, did not dawn on me did not even no no didn't even register so about the next night i'm on facetime with my um my best friend Jalen, she has a YouTube channel as well. I'll put it in the description, my best friend Jalen. And <laughs> so I'm on FaceTime with her and I literally just took a shower. I took a shower, I took a shower that night. I'm getting ready. I get on the phone with her immediately and I'm telling her like, oh, I'm having a terrible time at school. I'm having a terrible time at like this place. Like I'm literally stressed out to the point. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Um, this is not college. This is not fun. I'm not having a, joyous time, you know, like nothing's really hitting. 
so about <laughs> so about this time I'm wearing a pink shirt I have a pink shirt on it's, it's like the, it's the Rugrats dinosaur you know I can't remember it but I, I was wearing this shirt and it's pretty noticeable is why I'm trying to get into the story it was pretty noticeable if you had anything on or anything like yeah you would you would see it is what I'm saying you would generally see it and I was like so I'm on face let me back to the story so I'm on FaceTime with her generally cooling generally chilling talking to Jalen vibing you know cooling it whatever all of a sudden while I'm talking to Jalen this bug slowly comes up my shirt so I immediately do like this kill it thinking but then it's the same bug not the same bug from the other night but it looks like the same bug from the other night so I generally go yo is that a bed bug I, I'm in my quotations talking to Jalen she's like what are, you, what are you talking about bed bug bed bug and I'm like yes is this the same bug I killed the other night so mind you we have Google it's the 21st century we have Google so I look up a bed bug look like the little joint right there popped up I was like oh I have bed bugs I freak out I'm like I have bed bugs mind you my body's already bitten up I saw three bed bugs that day it was an infestation I lift I lift up the, the little cots, not beds, the little cots they have you sleep on at any college you go to. Doesn't matter if you go to any college, the prestigious, they have you sleeping on a cot now. You on a cot. So, I live up, bed bugs, literally everywhere, everywhere in, in the, in the lining of my bed. Mind you, my roommate's there. He's, he's, he's not there right now, but he, he lives with me. He lives in the same room as me. So, I said, oh, hell no. I'm like, oh, hell no. I immediately grabbed all my things. I'm packing up. So I called my mom. I said, Jayla, I got to call you back. I, I got to call you back. So Jayla's like, oh, okay. We got to figure this joint out. So I called I call my mom and my grandma. And my, my mom wasn't answering her phone. You know, for whatever reason, she wasn't. She wasn't answering her phone. So I was like, okay. We, they live in... My grandma and my mom live in the same house at this point in time, so I thought they call my grandma. My grandma answers, hello, baby. I have bed bugs. I didn't say hello, how you doing, nothing. I have bed bugs. She was like, what you mean you got bed bugs? I got bed bugs. Bed bugs, point blank, period. I had bed bugs. She was like, what? That damn school. She didn't want me to go into the school, period. So she was just, she was like, oh, I knew about that damn, I knew about that school. It's nasty. Like, all this and that. She wasn't, she wasn't wrong. I have other stories for that. Many, many stories for that. Many. So, okay. So, so, my mom gets on the phone and she's like, uh-uh, you going down to the RA. So, I grab, I, I grab my phone. She's on the phone the whole time. I grab my phone. I'm marching down to the RA's office and I'm like, hey, I have, Mind you, I'm pissed off. I'm a, I'm a pretty nice person. I'm a pretty nice guy. I don't bother nobody. But when I'm furious, I'm furious. And I felt like I shouldn't have to go through this. This is just gross, ridiculous, redundant. No college freshman should have to go through this. Mind you, I had a terrible freshman week. Depression, serotonin was not it. It was, I had a lot of evaluating thinking. And that's another video. But, so, back to the story. I go down to the uh, RA and I'm like, hey. I have bed bugs. And, he, and so, you know what the RA says, guys? You know what you, oh my God, look at that. You know what the RA says? Oh, I thought we got rid of those. Rid of those? You can't, you can get rid of bed bugs, but you literally have to do a thorough cleaning when it comes to bed bugs. You can't just spray and be like, oh, they're gonna disappear. We're gonna call it a day. No, it doesn't work like that, Chief. It doesn't work like that at all. No. So, he's like, oh, okay, I'm going to call the RSD. So, mind you, I'm on the phone with my mom. She's like, this is ridiculous. My son just got here. And my mom went to Livingstone. So, she's an alum. So, she's like, this is ridiculous. I can't believe this is happening. Blah, blah, blah. This is all right. Gross. This and that. 
So the RHD comes, Mike, he's a big, heavy set guy, middleweight young man. You know, whatever. I was just annoyed at this point. So then he goes, what's going on, young man? I'm like, I have bed bugs. My room is in, in infested, infested with bed bugs. I need to leave and you need to put me in a nicer dorm. Mind you, I had a 3.5 out of high school. I should have been in the honors dorm at the campus, but I wasn't really going to the school at the time. I was going to another school. So I ended up getting there late and they were like, well, all the honors dorms are full, which I think was BS to be honest. But I end up having to go to stay at, if you go to Livingstone, you know, Dancy Hall, Dirty Dancy. That's the Dirty Dancy. That's the name for it. Dirty Dancy, bro. <laughs> dirty, literally jail cell Dirty Dancy. Let me, not, let me stop ranting about that. So he goes, okay, now let's get all the things. Let's, what you wear throughout the week. Mind you, I've been sleeping here throughout the week. So all the clothes, my precious childhood blanket have just literally been laying on this cot. So I have all the dirty bins and while I'm cleaning my dirty bin to get my clothes, I'm going to wash in hot water because that's what kills them. Hot water and my blanket. I see three bed bugs in my laundry basket. Three, just sitting there. I freak out. I'm not a bad person, but I freak out. I'm mad, so I start killing them. I'm pissed off at this point. So later on that night, they moved me to about five rooms. Five rooms, pay attention, five rooms, five rooms. Five rooms. So, I'm like, okay, okay, five rooms, that's okay. No, they weren't gonna move me to five rooms. This is what happened. They moved me to one each room, but let me tell you the story of times about what happened to those. The number one room they moved me to wasn't even ready. It had no window. Yeah, it was boarded up. The AC, we had an AC unit near the windows. So, with the AC units, I'm trying to get my train of thought. With the AC units, there's. Wait. With the AC units, there's a little. Oh, I keep repeating myself. With the AC units, there's this little thing, and it's an AC unit, and you plug it in. It had none of that there. None of it. None of it was there. None. It was, there was no AC unit, there was no window, the door had no door handle. So I said, I refuse to stay in here. I'm not staying in this room. Mind you, I'm not staying in this room. Mind you, they were like, oh, okay. So they tried to move to another room. This room, this room particularly, had roaches. Oh, 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 you heard me right. Roaches, and not the regular small little roaches. Nah, it was the big joints. The big flying roaches. Literally, the big flying cockroaches. I know those because, you know, part of my childhood, you experienced that. But I said, oh, no, 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 no. I'm telling my RA, mind you, my RA lives right next door to me. So I said, it was a number RA, the other guy I talked to, which, you know. The guy next to me, I said, I refuse to stay in here either. You're not just going to put me in a room and call it a day. No, you're going to put me in somewhere that's full, expected, and nice, and up to the expectations of how a room is supposed to be. Not full of bed bugs, not AC unit, not roaches, point blank, period. You know, I refuse, I refuse to stay here. Refuse, I literally refuse. So he was like, all right, bro, all right, all right, bro, all right, we gonna move you to another room, but we can't keep moving you repeatedly over and over. My, oh, I didn't even tell you guys, Mind you, this is in the middle of the night. We're looking at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 a.m. Yes, middle of the night. Middle of the night. Move. So, I'm like, what, what do you expect me to do? Mind you, it's like 3 a.m. So I say, you know, I got, mind you, I got my blanket. I got my dirty clothes with the bed bug and fuse. I said, look, you guys need to figure out a room for me. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to wash my clothes. That's number two. And number three, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I will literally blast you on social media if you do not, which I am doing. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I will literally blast you if you do not fix this situation. So he goes, all right, sir, all right, sir. We're gonna, the other, right, the RHD, the higher guy. All right, sir, all right, sir. There's no need to do that. We're gonna figure out a better situation for you to live. I tell you better, because this is ridiculous. This is, this is just re, Ridiculous at this point. Ridiculous. So, around, I go to wash my clothes, mind you, it's only two washers and dryers. 
One, two of the washers are picked up and two of the dryers are picked up. I said, are you kidding me? You, you cannot be joking. And nobody came to pick their clothes up. By the way, they're all done and nobody came to pick their clothes up. I'm not having it. I said, you need to find me another washer and dryer to do to wash my clothes and my blanket. And that's that in period. So they move me to this number laundry room and then I finally get to wash my clothes and my blanket. And he's like, and then, so he's joking me. So I'm trying to stuff all the stuff in and the RNG's like, oh, you've never done this before, have you, Joe? No, I've never done this before. Cause that's gross. I, I don't experience the bed bugs in my childhood. Sorry, you had a rough life, but I don't experience that. I said, no, I never have to do this before. I shouldn't have to do this, especially at a college campus, but you know, we're here, we're, we're here. So he get a little, he's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry for your frustration. And my mom's still on the phone, mind you, uh, during all this situation. She's like, he's a good kid, he doesn't deserve this. I'm an alum, and he's like, we, we got your son, ma'am. We're gonna make sure he's okay after this situation. Boo, nigga, boo. No, didn't, no, they, no, they never cared after that. So, I'm getting so frustrated even thinking about this. So finally, I'm in the washing my clothes and they move me to the final fifth room. The final fifth room. This room had no mirrors. It had AC in the window, so I guess that counts. No, it doesn't. It didn't have window, it didn't have mirror. So each room had a mirror. It didn't have a mirror, which I really don't care about. It didn't have a mirror, which I did, but. It didn't have doorknobs on the closets. Oh yeah, the things you have to open and put your stuff in. Nope, didn't have closets, didn't have a mirror, didn't have the basic just of none of that. So I was like, are you serious? He's like, look, Mr. Conti, it's it's really late. You you really gotta get in bed. And he's like, and then, and then to top it off, he said, I'm gonna need to move you out this room at 7 a.m. What? 7 a.m., why? He's like, cause they're re-renovating re painting, so you need to be out here at least by six. Six, mind you guys, it's 4.30 a.m. in the morning. I said, I have not gotten any sleep. What do you mean? He's like, well, you really need to move out because I really got to get these guys in and really, you know, start working and everything. And I said, you got to be joking. You, you, you literally have to be joking. You have to be joking. He's like, no, I'm not joking, Mr. Gauti. I'm, I'm being very serious. And I was like, you know what? Goodbye. That's why I said, I said, get out of my room. Goodbye. You didn't put me through enough hell through the night. I'm done with this shit. Goodbye. So I slammed the door in his face. I wasn't having it. So I called my girlfriend on the phone and I say, this is what's happening. I'm so stressed out. I'm done. And I went to bed that night crying my eyes out. Because <laughs> I was so stressed out. And yep, that's my bed bug college story. If you guys liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, we are out here. I'm trying to crank as many videos out as possible for you guys during this whole pandemic. So last night, I was thinking, what can I say on this channel? Another story time for you guys. I have another story time right here if you guys want to check it out. And as usual, we are out here. We out here. We out here. And make sure ain't no bed bugs in y'all bed tonight. Sleep tight. Good night. And don't let the bed bugs bite. See you guys. Catch you next time.